you go to any graveyard from the early 1900s, you'll find numerous small gravestones. And what those gravestones typically represent are the high infant mortality that existed due to diseases that are now prevented uh, by vaccines. Vaccines are the single most important medical instrument to protect public health. Smallpox is a disease that used to kill many people throughout the world. It no longer exists. Diphtheria, measles, mumps, rubella, tetanus, these diseases are dramatically reduced due to the use of vaccine. When I was running the intensive care unit, there was a four-year-old little girl who complained to her mother that she had a headache. Within a couple hours, the child was comatose. She had such a profound case of pneumococcal meningitis that we couldn't bring her back. I thought to myself, there's got to be a better way. And that was really the beginning of my interest in trying to prevent disease using vaccines. Now, I lead a global team in vaccine clinical research and development. Developing a vaccine is a very ambitious undertaking involving literally thousands of people. This whole process takes 10 to 12 years. We actually have to take specimens from those individuals that have received the vaccine to determine whether that vaccine is likely to be effective. We have large repositories of hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of specimens that are not only valuable now, but also help us develop vaccines in the future. I received correspondence from the parents of the child who died. They hoped that someone would be able to develop a vaccine for pneumococcal meningitis. One of the most poignant moments in my life was to be part of a team that has, in fact, developed a vaccine that now is preventing those sorts of tragedies. When I go to small towns, I sometimes make a point of actually looking at those graveyards to remind me of the impact that, that vaccines have had and that we can have in terms of protecting lives.